semi-finals shouldn't be it, of course. There will be two competing two teams again here. And I would like to introduce for our previous winning team, Blue Team, SMO Trimurti. <laughs> that has beating SMA 4 Surabaya, SMA 8 Surabaya, SMA Muhammadiyah Surabaya. Yeah. And now we got the red team here, SMU Muhammadiyah 1 Gresik. That has been beaten SMA 2 Surabaya, SMA 1 Kedamaian Gresik, and SMA IPIM Surabaya. And I would like to you to introduce our special judges of today, Mr. Juhari from Perbana Surabaya. Of course, give it up for Laura McPherson. And Nanam Perbono. All right, then. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let me hear from a blue team. Go, go, go. Fight, fight, fight. Win, win, win. win. Go, fight, win. win. I said, go. We have here question and answer once again. Okay, listen up, push the button and raise, and the question will be delivered by Laura. Question number one How many regencies are there on the island of Madura? Are there four regencies? A4. Correct. Okay, question number two Indonesia's first president was Sukarno, and the current president is Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono. How many presidents has Indonesia had? Six. Uh, correct. Okay, question number three. Among the nine Islamic saints or Wali Songo, who taught and introduced Islam to Java? Who was the oldest Wali that was buried in Surabaya? Was it A, Sunan Giri? Was it B, Sunan Ban... Bon sorry. Sunan Bonang. Yes? Sunan Ampel. Correct, correct. Okay, question number four. What was the name of the Allied Forces General who was killed at Jembatan Mera during the Battle of Surabaya in 1945? Was it? Malabi. Correct. Indonesia lies between the two big continents of Australia and Asia and two wide oceans. Which oceans are they? Is it A, Indonesia... Can you have a Pacific? Uh, correct. Well done. Yeah! All right, give it up once again. Blue team and the red team. Okay, now we are come up to the next challenge. It's a picture talks. I want you to gra uh, describe what the picture is inside. One minute. Which one do you choose? The red one. The red one. Oh, we got Gamelan. Okay, now the question. Listen up. What do we have to do to preserve this traditional music? Okay, first of all, what we have to do to protect or preserve this traditional music is building a, uh, you know, building the new, building the new spirit in playing this music because you know that a lot of Indonesian teenagers or young people of Indonesia don't like gamelan because maybe uh, the gamelan is just like disgusting or some. And uh, gamelan is very, very uh, important to develop because first, that is the identity, the identity of Indonesia. Second, that is the mascot of Indonesia. And last but not least, the traditional, traditional music should be developed because 
That's, that's our image. That is the image. In another word, when we lost our traditional image, so I think we, we won't be able to do something to improve this. We can take it off. Uh, <laughs> Time's up, blue team. Okay, now next for the red team. What do we got here? Oh, Uncle. Same question. What do we have to do to preserve this traditional music? Okay, what do we have to do to protect this tradi traditional music? Is we have to teach the chi we have to teach children how to play this music. We have to intru introduce the children either in the school or in the society that this is our traditional uh, one of our traditional culture. So we have to teach the children and. We have to teach how to play angklung, and we have to introduce that angklung is one of our traditional um, traditional music, and also it is our mascot. Angklung is a traditional music, and we just try to use this music for the event or the big event, or this is this angklung from West Java. We also can uh, make the community that uh, we can uh, together, uh, we can learn together to play I'm this music. I'm going to challenge you for puzzle making skill. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned on Shouldn't Beat.